So kicking today's show off, we have two teams that had very different fortunes in round one at Monza. It's Williams Esports taking on Yas Heat. Andrea Kapocha of Yas Heat starting from pole position. Kuba Brzezinski in P2 as we get this race underway and a great start there from Kapocha. Yeah, great start off the line for Kapocha there. He's already into turn one. Surely won't make a mistake here. He'll bring it home for the run to the line and take out our first head-to-head -head race for Yas Heat. We have a 1-0 lead for the Williams Esports boys heading into the next leg of the matchup. Here we go, we are underway, Nick. Yeah, great start there from Yas Heat with uh, Kapocha going around the outside, but didn't actually make it. Uh, so a good breathing space. This is the team race. We have Kuba Brzezinski of Williams starting from pole position. Challenging him in P2 is Kapocha, and we are underway. Fantastic start there for Kapocha. Um, going it down the outside into turn one, uh, and now leading into turn two at Druid, which is a fantastic Ooh. start from him. A little bit scruffy from the guys at the back, but a great start. Look, he's checked out pretty much um, through Graham Hill, and a great start for Kapocha. It's second place, keeping him honest, but a great start for Yas Heat. One, two for the team so far for Yas Heat. I don't imagine they'll be wanting to fight too much. As you can see, Honzik is actually battling away with Stefanko there in P3, and Honzik holds on. Williams desperately need to get a position or two, and uh, this Nivsky is Whoa! oh big mistake. Stefanko. There. What a shame, yeah, big mistake. He just sort of ran a little bit wide on exit. It's a really, really bumpy exit curb there, and you can see he dropped a wheel um, off the back of the curb, and it spun him round when he was on throttle. Um, so a big mistake there, uh, but also big relief for Honzik because he was under a lot of pressure from Stefanko. Stewards are looking into to Honzik and his track limits. Um, so there could be uh, a penalty. Oh, someone's off in the background. Way. Oh, what a shame, Fideli making a mistake. And as I said, Ben, you know, you make a mistake here, it really, really bites you hard. It looks like an opportunity may present itself here as Honzik is looking a little vulnerable now as we head into the middle sector of the last lap. Nick. Yeah, how much of a century can we get? He's going down the outside. Oh, not the place to go, really. Down the outside there, but really defensive from Honzik. Um, and all these drivers are actually on uh, default setup. All they can do is change their uh, brake oh, really? bias. Yeah, change their brake bias and front downforce. Um, so they're all doing a fantastic job, and that has allowed Kapocha now 2.6 seconds gap um, as he heads into the last corner. But it doesn't look like Brzezinski is going to get the job done, and Kapocha takes the win. Very, very commanding. What a phenomenal drive there from Kapocha. Got into the lead, held it, mistake free. Honzik as well, massive shout out to him for flying the flag for Yasi and holding on for a 1 2 for the team. So let's see how that matchup affected the standings. Williams sit top of the pile after grabbing another two championship points. But that team race loss means they no longer boast a perfect race record. Yasit started the day in fifth, and that's where they remain right now. Picking up points in the team races at Monza and Brands Hatch has given them a little breathing room at least. 